Hello, my name is Anna and I'm a junior consultant here at Mayan Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking into how to create and manage a customer on a Kimarika ERP. In today's video, we'll be exploring how to create a customer and we'll explore all the components inside the customer window, such as GL accounts, the general tab, and all the settings related to how to create a customer. To create a customer on Akimarika ERP, we'll first have to go to our Receivables tab and under the profile, click Customers. Akimarika will open up the Customers window where we can see a list of all the customers we have created thus far. We can also see small information such as Customer ID, Customer Name, relevant information such as the country, city. We also have a column related to our customer class, with customer class, which is how we have classified each of our customers. Our currency terms. We can also download this list on Excel and we can also play around with the columns information. So if I want to for example, take one out, I can do that, and I can also keep adding one. For example, if I want to know the customer status, I can add that, and that column will be added here. So what I will do now is create a new customer, which will be again on the receivables tab, under profile customers, and here add new record. So what Akumarika will pull up is my new records window where I have all the information that I will be uploading to this customer. I have the customer ID, I have my customer class, I have my general, in my general type, I have my general information, which will be my account name, the address, the additional info, which is the contact info, such as phone number, account email, I have also something really important, which is my primary contact, where I have the name, the job title, and email, as well as num phone number of the main person that I will be sending all the information to. This is this email, as well as the email and additional account info is really important, since this is the information that Akimarika will be pulling up whenever I create an invoice or receive a payment or also whenever I want to send an email or a note to Akimarika, uh, this is the information that the system will be pulling up. So now if I move to my financial tab, I can see all the information relevant to that. I can see my terms, which are the ones that I will be setting up with this customer. I see my statement cycle ID. I see all the credit verification rules, retainage settings. And then if I go to my billing, I can see information that is relevant to the billing address. It is important to know that this address will be pulling off from my general information tab, but this can be overridden by clicking the override checkbox and I can change anything I want to change here. The same goes with shipping. This information of address will be pulling up from general tab and I can also override it. Here I also have in my shipping tab my tax zone, tax zone ID, my shipping instructions. Now if I go to my location tab, here I will have all the locations that this customer has. For example, if this specific customer has several store locations and I sell different quantities and different things to each one of them, it's really useful to have a list of all the locations we are doing business with. And then if I go to my payment methods tab, I can see that I have a selection of all the payment methods I have uploaded into the system. And for this specific customer, I am receiving checks, so I have that selected, but I can also select, for example, cash, but right now I will leave it at check. Now in my contacts tab, I will be able to add all the contacts that 
are relevant to this customer. So all the persons of contact, I can keep adding them and setting the name, the job title. And if I want them to be primary, I can also check that in here. Now the salesperson tab, which I think is really important since he, here we can add the salesperson for this customer and this is how we manage our commissions. Here we can set up the commission amount so it can be calculated. We have also our attributes tab, our activities tab where we can send emails, create events, register all the phone calls we have done, notes, everything that was relevant to store up information can be done here and finally we have our jail accounts which are all the accounts that will be being hit will be hit on by our transactions with the customer for example all the invoices all the payments everything and per, um, production orders everything that it's related to this customer will be taken from here so now I will set up information for this customer. Okay, so I have some information preloaded, so I don't have to type it right now. And I have set up the customer ID. I have selected customer classes local. This is an important point. I can change this whenever I want. I have several options here. Why is this important? Because, well, let's see if I click here, it will pull up a window where all the information of this setup start. So here I can, what I can do here is I can set some settings as default. What does this mean? So if I have several customers that have similar characteristics, for example, in this case, in this case all these customers are local. And I know that all these customers we have also similar default settings such as terms, country, taxon ID, because I know all of them are in the same place or all of them have similar characteristics, I can create a customer class and start preloading that information. And this will be helpful so whenever I don't have to be going on each one of the tabs to add that information manually. For example, in this case, I have country set up as the US, terms such as 30 days and if I go to my jail accounts I also have all my accounts already set up so when I choose this customer class all that information will be already loaded here in my jail accounts so for example if I go into my customer class and select key customers it will tell me that everything will be changed and if I go to financial now my terms have changed to the ones that are on the key class, which are here. So if I go again back to local, the settings will be changed. And this goes similar or as well to my payment methods, my GL accounts, everything I have set up in the customer class. These, of course, can be overridden. For example, I have here 30 days and I can select 7 days without any problem. This goes as well with the GL accounts. So this customer class is really useful when you're creating several customers or several vendors at the same time or in, during the day. This saves a lot of time. So we go back and save it. And that will be how we create a customer on Akimarika ERP. And that will be all for today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this.